All right, guys, it's a clear day, and uh, I'm here out in my shed sweating, uh, sweating bulls, as uh, as we say here. And uh, it's like 90 some odd degrees outside right now. Uh, I can go look at my thermometer. I got one out. Uh, I got one hanging on the wall, and uh, I'm sure it's uh, up over 110 in this thing. It's a it, it's a greenhouse. Um, so, anyways. I'm going to be putting some clear on this today. Uh, conditions are all wrong. The humidity is going sky high, and the uh, and it's just way too hot for the reducer I got. But it, it needs to be done, so I'm going to do the best I can with it. Uh, this is not necessarily a how-to video. I'm not going to show you the steps that are involved. Um, this is something that's beyond the scope of what I'm willing to put out there. So. You know, if you want to learn how to clear, then uh, do your research and do your homework like I did. And uh, and good luck to you. If you have any questions, I'll, I'll answer them the best I can. But I'm not going to do an instructional video on this because this is some nasty crap. And not everybody needs to be doing this stuff. Um, you need the proper gear. You need the proper setup. For those reasons, I'm not going to just uh, put this out there and uh, try, to, try to show everybody how to do this stuff. So, having said that. Uh, the process is that I'm going to go mix up some paint and uh, you can watch me uh, spray it on there and then once it's done we'll uh, take a look and uh, see what it looks like when it's all done. Uh, maybe, hopefully, there will still be some sunlight out there because a uh, little, uh, little secret when I was bringing that thing out, the uh, remember that silver with the uh, the yellow and the the brown and the stuff on a receiver that I said was gonna look really awesome in the Sun yeah well on the way out uh, to the shed it does it looks really awesome so uh, on the count of three I'm gonna switch over to a different camera and uh, you can catch me and my new snazzy haircut on the other camera one two three what do you think? Did that, uh, did that works pretty good? So first things first, this is a setup. I'm gonna start mixing the paint here in a second. So it's a four to one mix. And uh, let's get going. So we're gonna uh, get this paint going, get this clear. So we need pretty much a, uh, a nice level area. Right there, the bottom of the meniscus is right at our one mark for the uh, proper amount of paint that we have. Clear, I'm gonna call it paint just because. So then we're gonna take our hardener and without moving the cup, Hardener, activator, reducer, whatever you want to call it. Don't be a backyard chemist with this crap either. If it says four to one, don't go thinking that you're going to just mix it at whatever ratio you want. That's not how this stuff is designed to work. All right, so now if I had my mixer, a paint stick, a lot of the battles are won and lost depending on how you mix your uh, mix your stuff up right so make sure you know this stuff's got like a two hour pot life two hours if you can't put two or three coats down in two hours there's something really wrong so it's got a two hour pot life don't sweat it make sure the stuff's really mixed up the way it's supposed to be mixed so let me finish mixing this. I'm going to cut the audio off to my mic. Um, and uh, I'm going to load up the sprayer. And we'll be back in a second.
All right, uh, first layer's on. The uh, the clock's ticking. Um, got uh, five minutes and twelve seconds before the next coat goes on. Uh, so you can see basically from uh, what we got going on behind me that uh, it don't look bad. Uh, I went a little heavier than I. I think I should have. Um, I think I sh probably should have just went with uh, like a real light dusting, but unfortunately, yeah, well, whatever. If it messes up, that could be part of the reason why. But anyways, let's uh, let's take a look and see what we got. I shouldn't be in here without my respirator on because it uh, surely does stink in here. And it looks like I did get a little bit of orange peel where I didn't go quite heavy enough. Uh, so that means I'll either be sanding or delivering as is. So. All right, let's let this flash and then we're going to come back and shoot it again. All right, well, there you go. Uh, the only thing left to do now is uh, kick back and have a couple while this stuff dries. And uh, this, is, uh, this, is a, this is a material that I'm not too familiar with. Um, the last stuff I used was uh, okay to touch in four hours. We're gonna let this go ahead and uh, gas out, convert over to 2K, so. You know, there's a chemical reaction going on. So be back and uh, hopefully, like I said, there'll be a little bit of daylight, at least till it's out of dust, anyways. Um, and uh, we'll get some good pictures of it. But I got a feeling that I'm gonna end up doing some sanding. Uh, the sprayer was somehow it got a hold of some residual paint. It was squirting out orange. So I don't know how many videos ago I did uh, orange in the uh, mini. And a touch-up gun and a mini HVLP, but uh, hell if I know. But uh, anyways, uh, like me on Facebook. Check out some of the other videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, see you next time.